Avery, I wanted to ask you about the decision that you made um, to not go to the bubble. And I mean, these are some, still some crazy times out there, obviously with, with the virus and you're about to start a season where you're gonna be on planes and going to hotels and going to different cities and all of that. What, what is your level of concern um, right now? And is it something that you're just gonna have to play through or I guess just where is your mind as we continue navigating this new normal? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, this is the new normal. Um, I, I think, you know, my decision right now is to just focus on playing. Um, that, that's all I care about is, is that's my, been my focus. Um, you know, I feel like everyone has a better idea um, of this virus. Obviously, there's still some unknowns. Um, but my decision not to go to the, the bubble just was the impact of my family, uh, my son. Um, has some health complications that I just didn't feel comfortable with uh, making the decision to go. Um, and I felt um, sat down with my wife and we felt like it was the best decision for my family. Um, and, you know, now I'm just looking forward to this opportunity and, um, and plan. Obviously, it's going to be a unique start of this season and um, some, some new things that we're going to have to get used to. But I'm ready for it. And, um, you know, we're just going to try to navigate it through, navigate through it as, as best as we can. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to be here in Miami and, and have an opportunity to be a part of a great co culture like this. And to follow up real quick, you mentioned the word culture. What was it about this culture? What was it about this team and this opportunity that, that, that spoke to you before you made the decision? I mean, everything. Um, obviously, we all know what it means to be a Miami Heat player, you know, um, the passion and um, the dedication it takes to be a part of this culture. And I just feel like I always, um, I always felt like I, if I ever got an opportunity to play here, I would fit in perfect. Um, you know, I just, it was just once the opportunity presented itself, um, I, I knew I would take advantage of it and, and try to be a part of this organization. And, um, it's here now, and I'm going to make sure I take advantage of it, and I'm prepared, and I'm excited about it, because I do feel like I'm a perfect fit, um, and just, you know, all the guys that are on what they stand for off the court, um, I'm excited about the season, because I think our team is going to be really good and exciting to watch play. Thanks. Welcome again, Avery. Thank you. Okay, our next question is going to be from Barry Jackson from the Miami Herald. But Avery, if I can just get you, there's a bit of glare behind you. If you could maybe position the camera slightly different. Sorry. That's all right. Can you guys see a little better? Yeah, that's better there. Um, go ahead, Barry. Sorry, guy. Hi, Avery. I wanted to ask you a couple of things. Have you ever talked to any Heat players or players who have played here about playing here, or were your views of wanting to someday maybe be a Heat member just based on your own observations as opposed to talking to anyone? And when you sat watching the NBA Finals, obviously you're rooting for the Lakers because that was your team this year, but in the back of your mind, did you ever think being on the Heat this year was conceivable as you watched those games? Yeah, so um, I think that's a good question. Um, you know, watching the game, um, I think I was watching the game as a fan. Obviously, I was going for my team, but, you know, you still admire a lot of the guys that are playing um, throughout the bubble. But um, Miami Heat definitely, um, you know, they they stood out um, for me. And uh, um, I, I really enjoy watching Bam play and watching Jimmy play. I mean, the entire team, um, the heart and dedication they played through the bubble and um, being able to stick together throughout all that adversity. Um, I feel like that is a culture and, and a team and atmosphere that anyone will want to be a part of. And um, watching it, like I said, as a fan, I was, I knew like if, if I was a part of something like that, uh, I, I would definitely, um, you know, take advantage of it and, and fit right in and, and be able to help out um, instantly. Okay, our next question will be from Joe B from heat.com. 
Hey, Avery, welcome. Um, Mo said that he's excited to play next to you and learn from you. What do you feel you can teach your teammates and, and what else do you want to bring to the team? Um, yeah, I try to lead by example. Um, and that's always been um, my goal going into every single season. Um, I'm a quiet guy, but I when, I, when I'm in there, it's, it strictly worked for me. And I hope that you know, I can teach everyone, you know, what it, all my little tricks at the trade when it comes to defense. Because I, I do feel like that's my biggest strong point uh, and an impact that I can make instantly um, on this team. And if I can help him in any way, if it's pick and roll at the screen and uh, forcing guys into shots, however, I can help anybody. Um, but I feel like I can also learn. I can learn a lot from guys on the team. I can learn from Jimmy. I can learn from the younger guys. I feel like um, that's how um, I can, most importantly, I feel like I can learn from uh, because I want to become a, a, a great all around defensive player. And my goal this year is to be on a defensive team. I feel like I, you know, these past two years, um, that last three years, have been tough for me moving around and I haven't really got a chance to show. I feel like I got a chance to show this past season um, that I'm an all defensive caliber player, but tonight um, that's my role. I, I, I take advantage of that and I bring that intensity on the, on the court every single night. Okay, our next question will be from Shannon Irish from Heat TV. Hi Avery, thank you so much for your time today. Um, you mentioned briefly about being a part of the initiatives um, that this team is about. What makes you most excited about being in Miami and being a part of a bigger conversation that the organization really is trying to push? Um, it means a lot to me. I, I feel like everybody that plays this game obviously wants to be a part of a, a team or organization that feels like they fit and, and they want them to be a part of, of the team. Um, that was a lot of the reason why I wanted to come here to Miami. Um, you know, I felt wanted and I, not only that, I felt like um, I could fit in right away um, to what their goal is um, as far as being a defensive team, a team that can get out and run, a team that plays off the dribble handoffs and um, a team that plays off of their star players. I felt like, you know, these past year few years um, I've been in situations like that and been able to be successful so coming here it, it'd be something that I can pick up right away um, and I'm just happy to be here I, I feel like we can make another run this year um, obviously the east got a lot better it's going to be a lot of guys coming back um, and I'm just looking forward to to going up against those guys and battling um, I feel like this team um, I Everyone has a, a chip on their shoulder. I don't even feel like a lot of guys are even talking about our team right now. Um, and we just, they just were in the finals. Um, and I think that's gonna help us a lot this year too, because we're, we'll have a chance to get in the gym and grind together, um, improve throughout the season and, and reach our goal. On, and, our, and, and that's when the NBA championship. Okay, our next question will be from Jason Jackson from our Heat Broadcasting crew. Avery, welcome. Uh, in a couple days, uh, you're celebrating a wonderful milestone uh, along with uh, Thanksgiving. So as you look at uh, turning 30 uh, from both a personal and, and basketball standpoint, uh, what significance does that have for you? It means a lot to me, man. I um, Throughout my career, I've had a lot of ups and downs, losing both parents, being on a lot of teams. Um, going into my 11th season is honestly a blessing. Um, I'm not going to take it for granted at all. And um, that's why I know this year is going to be good for me um, because I'm honestly going to leave everything I have out on the floor every single night. Every single night I'm, I'm, I'm going to push myself to, you know, the max. And um, I want to make sure um, I'm leaving everything I have on the floor every single game. Every single time I, I put on that jersey and I step on the court, I want to make sure that, I give my all for my teammates and, and for this organization for giving me um, this opportunity to be here. 
Okay, our next question will be from Christo Saltas from SDNA Greece. Hello, Avery. First of all, what are the reasons that you decide to accept the Miami Heat's offer uh, this uh, offseason? And also, you are one of the most experienced guys uh, in this uh, roster. And uh, Miami Heat has, uh, have some guys like uh, Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, Edric Nunn, Bama Debayo also. Uh, do you feel like one of uh, the like a mentor for these kids to prove to the next level? Do I, I, I do think I can that can be one of my roles on this team. Um, I've been in the Eastern Conference Finals um, three times. I haven't had a chance to play in a, in a championship yet, um, but I feel like I can help those guys out a lot on the defensive end. I can help our team, um, you know, be able to close out games. Um, just bring my experience on both ends of the floor and and my leadership. Um, I feel like it can be a big part. Um, play a big part on, uh, on the court and off the court uh, as far as, you know, making sure we all play for each other, reminding us of a, of the bigger goal I just have to do. And um, in order to be, he understands that it's pretty special because that's the hardest part of being a, a great team is being able to have guys buy into sacrificing. But um, I think my thing is, is just um, trying to lead by example every single day and show these guys what it takes, um, what it can take um, for us to be able to be not only Eastern Conference champions, but ultimately um, champions of the NBA this year. Okay, our next question will be from Cooper Moorhead from Heat.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Miami. Um, <clears throat> thank you. You had some back, I guess we can call it back in the day now, um, some playoff battles against Spo with Boston, and you've obviously seen Spo coaching over the years. What's your impression of him always been, and, and what about his style and the way he coaches guys attracts you to, to the spot? I think he's absolutely special. Um, one of the coaches that I always admired um, throughout these years, um, just simply because um, the mixture of their culture and his style of coaching, I think is extremely unique. He gets the most out of every single player in the court. Um, I feel like, you know, the players get better throughout the year, um, which I think that's a, a great talent to have as a coach. It says a lot about a um, about the head coach and about his coaching staff um, to have players improve throughout the throughout the season. And I felt like um, watching Miami play this year, Tyler and Nunn, um, um, Duncan Robinson, like they improved throughout the season. And I think that's, like I said, credit to the coaching staff, giving them confidence and opportunities to go out there and just play their game and um, bring um, – bring their talents every single night to the team and everyone play for one another. Um, I think that's just a special um, gift to have as a coach. And um, I'm, I'm so happy I get the opportunity now to finally play for him. Okay, Avery, and our final question will be from Christos Saltas once again. Go ahead, Christos. Yes. Avery, you faced, uh, as a player of Boston Celtics, you faced the uh, Miami Heat on playoffs, especially 2013 to 2014 on playoff rounds. Do you see any similarities between this uh, season's team and uh, the 2013-2014 team of uh, Miami Heat about the mindset, the mindset and uh, the approach on the game? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I think it's a bit early for me to speak to it, but I, you know, as far as their, their team last year, they had a lot of talent. Um, a lot of talent and a lot of guys, um, you know, that played their role and, and brought um, energy every single game. And I think those teams um, in 2013 and 2014, they obviously were special having LeBron James and Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. But I feel like, um, you know, this team has a, a lot of guys growing into those roles. Jimmy being one, Bam being one, and Tyler being an emerging star. Um, and, and now it's just it's our job as um, the supporting cast to make sure that we bring those talents every single night and compliment those guys and make their job easier so um, we can be where we want to be as a team this year. Okay, Avery, that's it. We appreciate your time today. Thank you. And Thank we'll, you, guys. We'll be speaking with you soon.